What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We have a bombastic day of tech news for you. A lot of new stuff that is leaked out that hasn't been leaked out before. It seems like on the daily we're getting some really cool stuff and today is a great day of information. And who doesn't love free information? I know I do. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. As you know, and I'm a huge, absolute fan of folding phones and the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is coming out and being announced within days and weeks of today. And what about a foldable tablet? It seems like that is the next frontier for Samsung. And it seems like it's coming out sooner than you think. This information is coming over from the Naver blog. And they've leaked stuff in the past, but ultimately what they go on to say is that it is a Gal the, the, the Galaxy Tab S9 model will be announced simultaneously with the Z Tab Fold model. And it is said that uh, the source of the domestic hinge suppliers has, I don't know if they've leaked it out, but ultimately they said it said that Samsung is concentrating its company-wide capabilities to launch the Fold model, which is completely different from the existing Fold and Flip at an early stage. They want to accelerate the popularization of Fold 4 and Flip 4 models, completely different form on the market at the time of the Galaxy Tab S9 uh, announcement. Come next year, probably uh, early next year, the Z Fold, uh, Z Fold tablet and Galaxy Tab S9 tablets should launch simultaneously at the same time. This is cool. I don't know how great the specs and the features and all that stuff will be on the foldable tablet. Is a foldable tablet even needed? It's interesting, we'll see how this goes and rolls out, no pun intended, and we'll end up hearing definitely, if this is gonna come out in the next handful of months, we will hear more and more about this in terms of what it looks like, the specs, the features, and everything else. This next story is about the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which will launch in a couple of days. And this is an update to them. So they're gonna have 10 millimeter drivers, which will help with better bass. And then they've also got 5.3 millimeter tweeters, which are gonna help with the highs. Active noise cancellation gives you negative 33 decibel reduction of outside noise. So I think the, the big takeaway is that when you put the active noise cancellation, it's gonna deaden the sounds of the outdoors by up to 33 decibels. Now, I don't know what the number is with some other ones, like I don't know what the Pixel Buds, how, how many decibels it lowers the outside noise from, but this sounds pretty good to me because I know when I edit a video, if I drop it down 33 decibels, it's almost inaudible to hear something. I can still hear something if I turn it up loud enough, but then at that point, it's not really 33 decibels. So this is pretty impressive. We'll see where this goes and how it sounds. And we only have to wait a few more weeks before these bad boys are in our ears. And to add on to that, if you wanna charge your Galaxy Buds 2 Pro for five minutes, that gives you 55 minutes of listening time. Here's another cool stat. If you're getting the Galaxy Z Flip 4, they can last up to four hours more than the Z Flip 3 thanks to a 12% bigger battery and better hardware software optimization. It also introduces a new slim hinge, which is what made possible having a bigger battery for all you folks that are getting, getting the Z Flip 4. You can look forward to better battery life. And I think that was probably one of its weak points with the Z Flip 3 was kind of low battery life. This is going to improve a lot of that. Next up is about the under display camera of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. On the Z Fold 3, you could hold it up and in certain situations on that big screen, you could actually see it. Well, Z Flip 4, Z Fold 4, I should say, as we've spoken about in the past, if you don't remember, is improved, but how much is it improved? Well, the information that's come out is coming from Rida saying the under display camera on the Fold 4 is expected to make improvements over last year's Fold 3. Now, he does have a graphic, which I'm not gonna show, and that graphic shows that it's going from 94 pixels per inch on the Z Fold 3 to uh, 132 pixels per inch on the Z Fold 4. So when you open up that large screen on the Z Fold 4, that under display camera, is gonna have even more pixels, meaning it's gonna be even harder to see. Now, at certain angles, I would still expect you to probably be able to see it, 
but it's gonna be a lot less. Um, that's a pretty big improvement. That's like what, 25, 30% improvement. And I'm looking forward to it, why not? I want this to be a cool thing. Now, it doesn't mention anything about the camera being better, but you've gotta hope and believe that it will be. And our last story of the day comes from Evan Blast. It's about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and some hands-on time that this person had with the Flip 4 and Fold 4 and what their first impressions are. And if you're kinda on the fence or you're you know, not even on the fence, you're just excited about getting this, I think this will add a little bit more fuel to that fire. And here we go, it's a, it's a, a little message he got saying, I had hands-on with the Fold 4 and Flip 4 today and they look and feel like a great upgrade this year. I use the Fold 3 as my daily driver and so I was really interested to see how the difference between the two felt. And I gotta say it's quite a big difference, the hinge and front screen especially. And I think that's some of the, you know, the front screen's obviously an issue with, with, with people like, oh my God, this thing is just too skinny. It's too hard to type on. I want it to be wider. I want it to be fatter. And obviously the Fold 4 does that. And then to add on to that hinge, if the hinge feels better, skinnier, and it is skinnier and smaller and feels tighter and just better overall, that's a big win as well. And again, I always say it all the time, add on the better cameras, better performance, newer software, new some, some new features. Get excited, guys. Get real excited. Thanks for watching, guys. Your question of the day is, what would you like to see in a foldable tablet? Put it in the comments down below. I, I, I mean, I, the way I look at it is maybe like, when they fold it, you could put the S Pen inserted in there somewhere because of the it's, it's big enough to fit uh, a pen or of some sort in the hinge. I don't know. I, I can't think of a lot of use cases where I'm like dying for a foldable tablet unless it can make it so small when I fold it that it's easily pocketable at that point. So we'll see what they do with it. Let me know what you guys want in a foldable tablet. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.